Gentlemen, I bring you a story of one man, a bunch of wizards he had to kill, and his fucking big hammer. One of my friends is an alright GM. Well, I lie. He's an alright person, most of the time. He used to be alright, but he's become a shit recently. But a shit GM. One day he decided to run a and d Inquisitor game, which was, effectively, her dur so edgy and grim. We were above the law. In a world of dung farming retards and our job was to hunt down wizards and magic users and kill, torture, maim them. And because my friend lacks all subtlety and GMing ability, every wizard was an innocent. Our organisation was kitten fucking evil and the tracks were obvious, such as 12 10th level guards in a random hamlet to try and keep us in check. This guy also hated me as a player on a deep and personal level. Any chance to take a pop at me and to prove he was alpha nerd, he'd take. Personally, I didn't give a fuck and was there to roll dice and generally enjoy myself. But since we were the same age and everyone else in the group was younger, I was, apparently, a valid challenge to his authority and so fuck your character in most passive way possible. What an absolute gay boy, like. Seriously. Everyone stats their character and the GM suggests I take a Goliath while everyone else is human. But I'm a bit unsure, but I'm a fighter, so fuck it, let's rock. I take a Goliath and the largest hammer in the entire book. As a large weapon, huge damage, and a hammer the size of a small horse was my tool of choice. I was a barbarian come bodyguard come butler for our glorious master. The hammer is a glorious ancient weapon of my forefathers, passed down from generation to generation and etc etc. Basically, it's masterwork. My dude's name is Biggs, because he is... And, well, isn't that smart or subtle, he is very, very good fighter and follows order to a T. He's basically the ultimate manservant slash bodyguard, since I can pick up my charge and carry them around one-handed if I need to protect them. First session goes fine. Random bandits. I roll a crit and do something crazy like 63 damage, turning one into a fine bloody mist due to sexy rolls. GM freaks out and demands I get rid of the hammer because he couldn't pull bullshit if I had it, since I could basically murder anything. He hides behind, game balance and to avoid you overshadowing the rest of the party. The rest of the party takes my side and says, nah, we don't mind, since they know he'll throw us third level characters up against fucking dragons if he gets a half decent excuse just to put us in our place. I like stories of the underdog. This guy, he liked to take the underdog and kick it in the balls a few times to make sure it was really under. Anyway, a bunch of hassle and fucking about later. He's basically forced by the chance of a revolution on his hands to let me keep my hammer. Now named the Big Iron by the grip. We reach a town and suddenly, out the left field, the GM mentions how everyone in the entire country is a racist. What? I'm basically a subhuman slave and not allowed weapons. What? Never before mentioned in canon or the background he gave us for the game. Guards come and demand my weapon. My Inquisitor backs me up, flashes her badge and tells him to fuck off. They argue a bit, grounds for execution for heresy. But the GM is metagaming to get me and my hammer by now. So the guards are basically a voice piece for him. We go into a bar where, for asking for a table, my character is nearly lynched. When I offer gold for someone to give us their seats, someone almost initiates combat against me. Because how fucking dare I ask for seats? My solution to this Collapsible chair and a table I had in my backpack. GM rages when he realises he can't force me into 1920s style race lynching over a chair. I troll face. Ew. (laughs) Moving on a day. We find a wizard and burn down a barn. One of the PCs who joins us is a smartass and badmouths the Inquisitor and causes the barn burning. Not a single person blinks when the priest is released after being proven a murderer and arsonist. Basically, the GM lets them get away with it because so dark and edgy. You can do whatever you like because you're above the law. This guy is being a twat to my master. So on the way out of town, I decided to take the initiative and give him a broken nose. The player and I talk. He doesn't mind. He agrees it's in character and will make for an interesting moment. We roll. He gets knocked over by a huge fist and realises that even if he doesn't respect her, He's going to have to be polite to my master because I have really big fists. Suddenly, fucking six crossbow bolts from nowhere pierce my chest, doing crazy damage. 
One did 19. That's not even possible by the rules. Unless they're using some sort of fuck you magic crossbow. And 12 guards, in a hamlet of three houses and an inn, rush up and demanded my head for hitting someone. When we were out of sight at the time, and they shot me from something like 200 metres away. Man, fucking what? When our priest and this guy burned down a barn and killed at least six people. And I'm a member of the motherfucking Inquisition. My Inquisitor gets me out of it, since the entire group knows it's bullshit. We move on. This sort of passive-aggressive shit continues for a while, before me and two friends, the priest and the Inquisitor, decide that the game is way too bland and we should spice it up with some character interaction and maybe a little conflict. My friend, who is the sort of dude who plays paladins, right, suggests we start a revolution. The Inquisitor girl says, right, forbidden love side quest with Biggs, and you and I can have a debating thing going on. Since your dude is cynical, and my girl needs breaking out of the idolism a little bit, we decide against revolution on the grounds of, don't want to ruin the game, but put it on the back burner as a possible response to more bullshit. GM throws Biggs curveballs continuously which I solve through a mix of applying my hammer, applying my backpack of bluttering, and generally being smarter than that fucker. Game continues. Biggs and his charge get closer through several incidents. GM continues trying to kill me slash ruin my hammer, by which point the hammer had taken on some symbolic role of fuck the GM bullshit, all the while coming up with clever new ways to try and get me weakened, like random encounter ghouls jumping me for level, and permanent XP drain, and making the party feel like shit. We continue onwards, and Biggs and his hammer meet several wizards, who all live very short lives after meeting him, or convert and join us, including one proto Big Bad Evil guy, who was something like 13th level. What happened with the proto Big Bad Evil guy, was that he appeared at random, in a bunch of ruins we were in, tried to grab some stolen tablet and run off. I move in the way on my master's orders, since guys running about arcane ruins is slightly suspect. He uses, I'm not even sure what the spell was, but it was basically a fuck your hammer spell to break my hammer. He goes to move past me. I declare with my gauntlets, which the GM didn't know counted as a weapon, a sauntering attack on the tablet, smash it, then grab the guy or try to, when he tries to fly off. I managed to nail him to a wall using a javelin. Sounds like Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. One of the other PCs repairs my hammer. We continue onward down the railroad. GM now fuming with fury at me and my hammer of wizard jam making since he keeps sending home big bad evil guys against me who will attack only me and I keep surviving and each time he tries to damage my hammer he rolls shit. He tries to fudge it but the priest demands he rolls out in the open. Eventually things come to a head when the GM brings in a GM player character inquisitor to parade how grim and gritty the world is, who we find looking for a witch in a little village, in the ass end of nowhere. Now, my dude gets bored, and him and his inquisitor wanders off into the forest because, well, off for sex time, really. At this point, he feels nothing for her, and basically orders him to bone her, since professionalism, <laughs> since professionalism out the ass is his watchword. We sneak off, and the GM who still hasn't realised what's going on between two player characters, since we do develop in another window, and he's oblivious to anything but his own plot, has us run into a girl, who is basically a bargain bin version of Shirky from Berserk, and all, la la, flowers, trees, whoa, you're huge mister, can we be friends? Absolute cringe. (laughs) Now, it's never come up in game before, but my dude had a little sister, who he misses like hell, and this tiny child reminds him of her, in a well abstract, not Goliath sort of way, and the GM really pushes on the friendship for them. He invites us to your house, etc., etc. We have a good time, and you know, finally, an NPC who isn't a raging dick or specifically made to fuck me over, I think. Oh, irony. My uber inquisitor asks for her help in finding the witch for questioning, which is obviously inquisitor speak for rape, beatings, torture, and burning. My character and the Inquisitor go in search of the vile heretic and two sessions later the Inquisitor brings in a certain little girl on a chain into the village centre. He found her first and it's our friend. Oh what a clever twist. Fucking GM. He basically says to our Inquisitor, thanks for the help, gonna make her admit it and we'll burn her. All the locals gather round 
and realises that the witch is well, prepare for stoning, since witch witch. My character is standing right next to his inquisitor and wants to help the girl, but he won't because of duty. Our inquisitor is unsure, but if it's for the greater good of the nation. Then the little girl, beaten, bloodied, afraid, stripped down and wearing only rags since they burned her get up, since it was heresy, says something, just one word, that blows all the GM's shitty little snips out of the water on the scale of, I'm so fucking with you right now, help. GM obviously means this in a dramatic, you can't do shit or you'll die, haha, <laughs> look how dark and grisly it all is, see how you can't do a damn thing, lol 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 lol, moment. <laughs> now I'm a bit of a moral fag, the GM knows this. He knows I'm going to intervene. Because, damn it, it might be a non-existent little girl. But this stands for something. I'm a paladin at heart. And I won't let her slip into the dark without fighting. And I'm fucking sick of the GM's bullshit. My character's reaction. I do this of my own will. The others are not involved. For a standard of that, he didn't ask my permission. He didn't care it would cause problems. He didn't ask her to let him. It is the first thing he has chosen to do for himself, of his own bat the entire game. Our Inquisitor finally loses her rose-tinted specks and realises how fucked up this is. She doesn't answer, but I did it anyway. One quick draw, a surprise round and one very, very lucky double critical later with a called shot. The Inquisitor in front of us has no arm. He would be dead, but GM fate saved him. He would have dodged with grace, but the group called bullshit. My character grabs the chain, hoinks the girl up onto his shoulders. I declared her the new target of several feet buffs I had for my master as part of the bodyguard thing and bull charged through the crowd to escape with her. Obviously I've gone rogue. The mob gives chase, as does the apparently uninterested in his severed arm GM PC Inquisitor, his retinue and my own. The chase is against me and the girl, but I have enhanced speed and enough con to go for a week without stopping. Plus my character was prepared, food, water, attempt, everything. I even had fucking tea. It was my butler kit, and I was prepared for any situation. The merry chase goes badly for me, as the NPCs seem to be part homing pigeon, or bloodhound or something, because they all seem to be getting above 27 on their tracking rolls, despite being first level dirt farmers, and always find me. The entire thing comes to a head, when I get the girl back to your cottage and hold up in it. Biggs is chaotic evil, but he'll be damned if he lets someone rape, torture and murder a little girl for nothing. Even he has standards. The lynch mob surrounds the house. The inquisitor starts firing them up and arming them. Someone sets the house on fire, trying to smoke us out. No dice, bitch. I got a fireproof cloak and you said this place has a basement. The GM is holding back the other PCs from the scene, using lol tracking checks to avoid them saving my ass. We ride out the night under the roaring inferno. Now you think the entire place burnt down would satisfy them, right? Assuming I'm dead. Move on. Nope, they know I'm still not dead. Eventually they find the basement. Well, Mr Inquisitor does. As they open the hatch, I declare a charge on them. I had an all night ready to action for this and had it written down on paper. I charge him and hit him from massive damage. GM says he's fine. We juke it out. I take a hell of a lot of damage, but fuck it. I have cleave, so I keep hitting mooks, then swinging through onto him to keep them at bay. Eventually, I use rage and tear him a new one, for a whopping 90 damage. Meanwhile, one of my friends is writing something down in another window. A bunch of numbers. The GM, lol, he's fine due to being level 15. I was, meanwhile, a 5th level character. Now, this guy who talks now, he's our local maths man. He doesn't talk much, and is a bit bland, but he's a bro. He pipes up and says, he should be dead then. GM, what? It's statistically impossible for a 15th level Inquisitor to have this much health. The attack would have killed him. Look, shows everyone he's been keeping track of damage. The magnificent bastard. GM, that's Matt Priest. He's a radical Inquisitor. He wouldn't use magic. Bullshit, he's down. GM, he falls over. His retinue go to save him. Me. Attack of opportunity on them if they move into this space to pick him up. And for my next turn, whirlwind attack. GM. Roll. Hit, 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 hit. Something like every attack hit. I killed the 20 or so people swarming me. 
the other players removing them from the board for the GM. Me. How much XP do I get? GM. What? Me. I killed a higher level character and several other high level ones. How much XP? Massive shit eater on my face. He might be fucking with me, but he has to stick to the rules while doing it. GM. What? Me. I killed a high level character and several other high level ones. How much XP? The GM. The others were just... Mo- Maths man. Right. By their base attack bonus and health points. They were about 12th level each. And the peasants were 5th. So you should gain XXX XP. Me. Right. I level up from that 6 times. GM. You can only level up on priest. Actually, you house rolled that. Ironically to use on the big bad evil guy. He leveled up to try and murder the priest. Me. Writing out already. I restart myself. Take some levels and a few classes. To save my ass from mobs, to be exact. Pure levels of paladin of freedom. Change my alignment to chaotic good. Because hey, I'm now fighting the evil establishment. I've got to be respectable to be a freedom fighter. Right? One huge fight later, in which the PCs arrive and move through the battle to join me. I'm on something like 10 HP. When the priest heals me back up to full, the only reason I survived this long was my own new shiny lay on hands. GM. Right. A crossbow bolt hits you in the head, you die. Me, how much damage? GM, none. You fucking die. You should be dead by now. You're flying in it. Everyone else stares. He bends in, rolls a few dice, 50 damage. You're dead. Maths man, actually, he's got GM. I don't care. He's bullshit and that hammer was bullshit. So is this. Priest, oh, the irony. Maths man, you can't do that. GM, I can. I'm GM. Rule zero, I, ranger. I take the hit for him. Everyone, what? The ranger did, hell of a guy. A bit of a woe addict and sometimes can be a bit of a power gamer. And doesn't act for anyone else. Only out of self-interest. GM, you can't. Priest, you take the arrow for him valiantly. You feel it sink into your skin. But it doesn't kill you. The battlefield judders to a halt and you realise that the mob is fleeing into the tree line. GM, what? Priest. Rolls a few dice. Mass cure medium wounds. Everyone regain X HP. You also level from that fight. Twice. My character turns to the Inquisitor. Is this really the world we wish to stand for? Another window appears. The Inquisitor and the Priest, it turns out, have been talking. They send me one word. Revolution. Old GM. You can't do that. Kicked from chat. (laughs) (laughs) 